what up everybody welcome back to the channel um today i finally got to download the fucking destiny 2 beta um i kind of like forgot it was out today for everybody on the ps4 but i was like yo today's the 21st and i gotta get to it but it's been stolen right now Ah, oh, PS4, guys, PS4 and fucking Xbox, uh, all this transferring this, this fucking, uh, technology, man, it's not, te it's not technology, it's just, like, you gotta transfer the fucking game from here to there, like, I'm downloading it, I gotta download it from the fucking cloud, from the PlayStation Store, onto my PlayStation 4, and then it's got to install onto the goddamn hard drive. Yes, the PS4 is a computer. I understand that. Same thing um, on a regular home computer. Your desktop. You, you download the fucking games uh, legally through a fucking uh, cloud server. Um, wherever you guys get your game from maybe steam or some shit it's got to download and then you got to install it in your hard drive and then if you guys don't have this uh so, uh significant i don't even know the fucking word i know what i'm trying to say but i don't know the word all right but if you guys don't have the significant space for um i think that's the word i'm looking for but if you guys don't have the space then what does it stay in the cloud? Yes. PlayStation games stay in the cloud on the PlayStation Network. But now, let me run you guys through this shit. Okay, PlayStation 4 is not gonna stay around forever. It's gonna be the year, what? Today is 2017, the year 2017. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna give it PlayStation span probably lasts a uh, good 10 to 15 years like a, for a good console. PlayStation 4 happened to be the console. Uh, 15 years, I'll, I'll do this 15 years down the line. PlayStation Network is probably going to be no more. PlayStation Network, they're probably going to shut down the servers, right? And all the games you guys paid for with your little PlayStation account. They're going to shut down the servers. I don't know what Sony's going to do about it, but I'm positive that there is no doubt in my mind that PlayStation is not, they're never going to fully, like, support the servers, like, for, like, the, the rest of our lives, like, for the rest of PlayStation life. Like, I'm, I'm sure, like, Sony's going to come out with a PS5. And if they do, but if they don't, they're probably gonna come up with a whole nother console, but why would they want to do that when they have everything going for them with the Sony PS4, like the PlayStation, like the PlayStation logo and shit like that, and whatnot. But my theory is that in 15 years, they're probably gonna come out with the PS5. All right, I'm not saying that they're gonna. But at some point in time, though, like, all the video games, they're, at some point in time, Sony's gonna get shut down. And your video games are digital, they're in the cloud, and you're not gonna be able to access them anymore. I'm just saying. I don't know when, I don't, you know, they might come out PS5, they might, um, why would, alright, now I got, Another another thing that I'm thinking of, why would PlayStation ever support, um, what do you call that, like a disc um, backwards compatible, like why would they ever support that ever again when mainly people are like downloading the games digitally and like digital uh, la, 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 in the cloud, alright, you know, um, I don't understand that shit though because like, the PlayStation, you can only hold up to like, depending like what games you guys have and how many DLCs for the game, you can only hold up to like four to fucking 
to four to ten games on your 500 gigabyte hard drive. Yes, I know they came off the, the PlayStation Slim or the, the Pro, which has a terabyte in it, but even a terabyte ain't even enough. Come on, guys. Like, if you're a fucking hardcore gamer and you love PlayStation, I mean, you gotta go out and buy a fucking five terabyte external hard drive or some shit like that. You know what I mean? Like, ah, uh, pain in a fucking ass, a fucking headache. And if you guys ever hook up a hard drive to your PS4, it does not support multi platforming, meaning not, I don't even know what the fuck I just said there, but you can't hook your external hard drive up to the PS4 and it has to be 3.0 USB and you can't hook it up to your, uh, you, you can't partition a hard drive and expect your hard drive to be partitioned half with your PC and half with your PS4, no it don't even work like that. When you hook it up to your PS4, they want you to to reformat your whole fucking hard drive, and uh, they want you to fucking just erase everything on it. They want you to get rid of everything, and it becomes a PlayStation hard drive. All right, so that that fucking sucks too. So it's like, yo, where are we gonna come up with this fucking storage? I don't know. I'm I'm probably speaking out my ass right now, but there's a lot of shit on my motherfucking mind. Um you know, as a PlayStation 4 user, um I've downloaded every single video game that I own into the cloud and only I, I still have my five hundred gigabyte hard drive, but I bought a five terabyte um, if you guys check back in my previous videos, um, I showed you guys how many video games you can hold and shit like that, but, uh, basically, it's, it's a pain in the ass to, to go into the PlayStation Store, download a game that you specifically like, but then, once you download that game, you start playing and you start getting into it. You don't want to delete it off your goddamn hard drive. You don't want to delete it off your PlayStation because you got a you got save file on there and you're, you're halfway through the game. But then, like, your best friend gets online. He's like, hey, bro, um, yo, why don't you play uh, Call of Duty with me or, or, or Grand Theft Auto? And it's like, bro, I just deleted Grand Theft Auto. It's like, oh, well, the whole crew is here and I'm like what the fuck I'm like oh what am I gonna do now so you sit there I can't play with you right now you tell them you can't play with them right now and then what you do you get mad you gotta delete a, another random game that you, you probably haven't played in a while but you still have saved data on there you probably even beat the goddamn game yet now you gotta delete that fucking game it's like just to make your you know the, the, the interaction like Entertaining for yourself because you got these friends over here playing Grand Theft Auto. You got these friends over here playing Call of Duty. So you got it's like a tug of war game. Like these these people want you to play this game, but you can't access the game because you, you got it, but you can't access it because it's in the cloud. So it's gonna take you all fucking night to, to download a fucking video game like this shit, fucking Destiny 2, 11.10 gigabytes. What the fuck? Like, I'll leave this shit on all night long. That's why PlayStation 4 has a, uh, option to leave this shit in fucking rest mode. Because, shit like this tends to happen. But, now let's get into it where, PlayStation 3, okay? PlayStation 3, yes, had a hard drive, okay? But we never, ever experienced issues where we had the... Well, in a way, but it never took this long. Like, we had to go into PlayStation Store and download and fucking video games. But, we never had an issue where the hard drive was so small. Which it really wasn't. Because if you guys went out and bought the 500 gigabyte hard drive for the PlayStation 3, um, games was not, downloading games and holding games was not an option. Like, it wasn't even an issue. I mean, like... It wasn't an issue at all. I mean, you can hold plenty of games. I can see why, because PlayStation 4 games 
Um, they're, they're higher resolution, they have more graphics, the better content, um, more bullshit to deal with. But, you know, honest to me, you know, honest to God, I gotta say, PlayStation 3, there really wasn't anything wrong with the system. It was a classic system. It was fucking amazing. And, uh, like, if they would have still continued with uh, making games and shit for the PlayStation 3, rest in, ple uh, rest in peace PlayStation 3, because they discontinued it. But if they started, if they still continued making games for it, I still would continue playing the PlayStation 3. But, you know, you can't play all the video games because you only have one life and there's a thousand million fucking video games out there in the world. And you're spending probably about an average video gamer maybe a week on a video game trying to beat it but if you're playing online you guys enjoy the online content and you like to play with people and it's going to take longer to accomplish the video game either you gotta do this and do that and the online fucking objectives like Grand Theft Auto it's going to take you like fucking three four years to complete the fucking video game to own everything in the game and whatnot so there's video games out there that will drain you for the next fucking 10 years or 5 years or whatnot. so guys don't get addicted to that kind of shit I don't try to if you guys are into completing video games um you guys like to play solo or maybe with a friend uh maybe on some co-op um stick to those kind of games and then you guys can probably clear up some space in that hard drive get rid of the game that you completed um, worry about the online content and bullshit later and then just, you know, go on with your life, you know. But that's my thoughts on the whole PlayStation thing. That's not all my thoughts. I'm just, I feel like I'm just dragging this fucking video on, but yeah. Alright guys, thank you for listening. I will be back with some great content on the Destiny 2 beta. So definitely stay tuned and probably, I don't know, I'm going to say the next 29 uh, hours, maybe, who knows, maybe by tomorrow. But this is taking a long, long time. But yo, if you guys like this video and uh, my information was helpful, maybe you guys learned something, maybe you guys didn't, if you don't like it, dislike the video, um, whatever. Alright guys, fucking... Keep your PlayStation, man. Don't don't switch to Xbox. I don't know why, but I was always a PlayStation guy. So, yo, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.